Hello everybody and welcome to the Ebony Tarot. Thank you all so much for all your likes, your comments, your shares and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to book a personal or info on how to do so is in the description box below. Um, today I just got a channeled message so I just wanted to kind of like say what the divine wants me to say as usual. And then I will pull a few cards and then that'll be that, okay? Um... I'm getting, because we're in Libra season. Oh, yeah, happy birthday, Libras. Oh, my God, I'm a Libra. Sun, moon, Mercury, and Mars. Okay, my birthday's on the 7th. Yes. I'm going to be 30, the big 3-0, guys, I know. <laughs> I feel like I've spent so much time trying to prove to myself, not prove to myself, prove to other people I'm older than I am. And now that I'm there, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm actually old. Oh, my God. But I still get asked for ID, so it's okay. No, that's annoying. That's annoying as fuck. But. It's our seasons, for those of you who are Libras watching this, if you're not, how I welcome everybody. This is a reading for the collective. Um, this is like a time period now where we have to, I feel like, remain balanced. I feel like compassion is very important and very imperative within this season. Also, karmic justice and karmic rewards. Anyone who's been chatting shit, anyone who's been mistreating anybody, anyone who's been envious, like, your time is coming. Like, those who keep judging people, judgment is about to come upon themselves. Like, you need to stop. Like, I just keep on hearing you need to stop. Because there's been an envious energy that has been following myself and the collective for the past few months now. And it's kind of like it's just getting stronger. And I feel like these people that are envious of you, it's kind of like they're doing whatever they can in their power to try and break you down. But what they don't realise is that they're only um, destroying themselves. Trying to destroy you is actually causing them to self-destruct. So you might find that you're going to hear... Things about partic particular people around you that ha could have had some sort of hatred towards you or could have backstabbed or betrayed you in some way. I really do feel like a lot of things are going to be happening to people. Um, and they're not going to be good things. So, I really feel like if you are somebody that's a hating ass bitch for no motherfucking reason, you really need to change your mindset through Libra season. Because even though the Libra season or Libras are ruled by Venus, and, you know, they're about beauty and vanity and luxury and abundance and love and all things beautiful, that it's also about karma, justice, law. Like, read up the seven principles of my art. Read up the 42 laws of my art. Like, you need to really understand the energy that you're about to embody, especially before we enter Scorpio season, okay? Oh, Scorpio season. Oh. <laughs> I just... I have, like, a love hate relationship with scorpionic energy i really do but your motherfuckers need to fix up okay well not you guys for those who have got any hate in us energy like if anyone sends any hatred towards you this season boom instant instant karma i'm hearing especially if you are a libra or if you have libra anywhere in your chart okay um there's a lot of people that are very envious of people that have endured and suffered so much to achieve the success that they have. Like, whatever success means to you, because success is different to many different people, but there are people that are observing you or looking at you, and it's kind of like they're hating on what it is that you're doing, how you're looking, what you're achieving, whatever it is. They're really, really, really hating. And it's like, rather than them taking that hate and actually getting up and doing something so that they can um be in a similar lane to you you know like rather than sitting there and just um oh so and so thinks she's this and such and such thing and who does it just shut your mouth and get up and go do your own shit okay and then then you won't have a reason to hate and what a lot of people don't understand is that when it comes to like I don't like it when people judge things from the outside like if someone judges someone's appearance or somebody judges um just things like when you just make a visual judgment like it's it's just dumb as fuck because you just don't know what that person had to do to get to where they are you don't understand why that person has been blessed but the divine chose to bless that person for a reason sometimes you've got to think to yourself like why am i not receiving this why am i not receiving that 
because you wouldn't know what to do with it or because you don't deserve it. Like, sometimes you need to um, own shit. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You need to own the negative attributes and the neg negative um, aspects of yourself so that you can then elevate. Like, this life in general is all about experience and it's all about learning. Like, even when we talk about the twin flame journeys and stuff, that's all about teaching you how to become a better version of yourself. There's a lot of people that are in codependent energies as well. Like, if you're with someone and they're cheating, lying and stealing, you need to leave them. Stop sitting there complaining about it every fucking day and do something about it. You know, I understand, like, things can be painful and stressful, but a lot of people don't like to make changes because they don't want to deal with the uncomfortability factor of what comes with the changes that they have to make. And you have to. You understand me? You can't use escapism and run from here, there and everywhere to avoid something that you know that you need to do because you're keeping yourself in the same cycle. Okay? Well, yeah, basically. So... Anyone who's making any achievements and like, I, I just want to say congratulations because there's a lot of abundance coming to people and, and the abundance that's coming, like 10 of pentacles energy, wheel of fortune energy, like you really, really deserve it. And don't feel guilty for anything that you're about to receive because you know what you had to do to get what you've got. You know how hard you had to work. I always say don't take constructive criticism from those who haven't constructed anything. Like, if you ain't built nothing and I've built a fucking empire, why are you telling me that you don't like the way this, that, and the, oh, you should have built it like this, you should have... I sh what? Bitch, what? Bitch, what? I should have built it like how? I'm sorry, What? where are your bricks? I'll wait. I will wait. Oh, oh, you don't have any. Oh, you've never built anything, but you've got so Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Don't listen to anyone chatting shit about whatever it is that you've got or what you're doing. Like, if, unless that person has got... Um, unless that person is um, an inspiration to you, you aspire to... Um, to be like them or in terms of like their work ethic, their determination or their confidence or their drive, whatever it is. Don't be listening to people that don't even have a pot to piss in. Don't listen to them, okay? They're hating and they're saying certain shit because they're just upset about what they're seeing you do, but they don't want to put in the work to do it themselves. Like, I don't understand people like that. I get really irritated when like so many people chat shit and it's just like, you're chatting shit, but you ain't doing shit. So why are you saying shit? I repeat, you're chatting shit, but you ain't doing shit. So why are you saying shit? I don't understand that. Because they want you to feel as low as they do. You understand me? When you're climbing to the top, people are going, blah, 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 trying shit so that you can keep looking down. Looking da Don't look down at them, okay? If they want to talk to you, let them come up at your level. You understand me? Right. Oh, I got very passionate about that. So, oh, oh, I am intelligent. That just wanted to come out. Some of you, your intelligence threatens people, okay? It's as simple as that. People don't like how smart you are. They don't like the fact that they can't manipulate you. You understand me? They don't like the fact that you may look like you're a bit of an airhead, but your head is filled up with more information than 10 motherfuckers in the same room as you. But they don't know that. You understand me? We've got unpowerful that wanted to come out. They don't like your power. They're trying to strip you of this. Stay where you are. Stay focused, okay? Use that, that intelligence that you have to fuel you to get to the, to the position where you need to be. And like I said, stop taking constructive criticism from those who have not constructed anything, okay? When somebody says to you, like, oh, you think you're this, they think you're that. If someone says, oh, you think you're too nice, they think you're too nice, and they don't like it. A lot of people hate themselves, okay? This is Libra season, like, let's embrace ourselves, let's embrace love, let's embrace beauty, let's be compassionate and fair to people. You know, why do you want to be a miserable hater? <laughs> and then wonder why you're not receiving shit in life. The next card that wanted to fly out, I am happy, yes, your happiness offends people. Your happiness 
your power, your it offends people. People don't like to see other people happy. I don't understand that. Like, I don't understand that energy. Like, I love to laugh. I love to be around high vibrational people. This is why I don't have any friends because there is hardly any high vibrational person. You can't tell anybody anything without them genuinely being um, happy for you or... You know when you speak to someone, they, all got, they always got something negative to say or they always got some sort of drama and you're just like, oh my God. And it's that like the drama that they're involved in, they could get out of it. They don't want to because they want a reason to complain. I don't want to listen to your complaints. I want to listen to your successes, your achievements. Let's, let's talk business talk. Let's talk about, um, let's have some sort of celebratory energy, okay? Let's talk high vibes. You know them people that always phone you up when they're in problems or when they want to gossip about somebody. I don't want to know about Tom, Dick, Harry, Sally or Barry. I don't give a fuck what they're doing. Because they're doing the same shit that they were doing 20 years ago, okay? You need to grow the fuck up now, okay? I am a magician that wanted to fly out, okay? You're magical. Again, people are upset and they can't stand your power. They can't stand the fact that you're able to manifest like this. Okay, but you put in the work, the magician puts in the work, he uses his own tools and his own methods, and he mixes shit up, and he does what he does. Some of you, very highly skilled, people are offended by your talent. If you've got a beautiful voice, and the person knows that you sound like an angel, they know that you sound like an angel, but they're going to say something to make you feel like you shouldn't go after your dream of singing. Like, you could get a gig where someone has invited you, uh, you know, to, to, oh, I'm having a little thing, I've booked a venue, could you come and sing? Oh, well, you don't want to be doing that, you know, because it, shh. Can the person that is telling you not to go to the gig to, to sing, can they sing? Okay, well, you're listening to them because? <laughs> I'm receiving messages from my ancestors. Some of you are highly intuitive as well. And, you know, they're upset. They're upset that your ancestors that are behind you are powerful. And like I said, some people are about to receive some karma. Heavens from those above. Do you understand me? People who have passed, people who are looking down, watching over you. People that are upset about your connection, that you've got a tight spirit team going on. Okay? I am a heroine. Well, there you go. <laughs> when I mean your superpower, they can't. They, they just, you, you can't top this energy. You just can't, okay? What else came up? I'm helpful and resourceful and I'm wild and free. Yeah. You can't be tamed. Like, some of you just out here doing your own thing and it's like people are trying to just, like, almost like put you in a box and they can't do it and they won't do it and they're not supposed to do it, okay? You keep moving forward. You're going to get help, okay? If you're somebody that's in need of help right now or you're feeling lost, the ancestors are saying, like, they're with you Okay, tap into that energy, use your intuition, use your spiritual intelligence, okay, and whip up some, um, where's the magician card gone, okay, do some sort of ritual and connect with your ancestors, they want you to connect with them so that they can take over the situation, anybody who's in your life that's trying to upset you or deprive you from happy, positive energy, shit's about to fucking go down okay libra season and scorpio season are not the seasons to be fucking with anybody it's 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 just not i am optimistic that wanted to come out stay optimistic about your future about everything keep that high vibrational energy okay don't let these low vibrational motherfuckers catch up shit because that's all they do you know people who chat shit don't do shit okay i think i might title the reading that and then this is what wanted to come out. It says, I let go of what's not good for me and receive all that is good for me. I said that. Some people need to let go and release shit. If you're in a bad situation, bye. Because you're blocking your own blessings. For others of you, people don't want you to receive this good shit. They don't. So you need to let this negative energy go. Okay? I am open. Do you see that? I am open to receive peace, love, harmony, and joy and what is libra all about peace harmony love be open to receive i told you some of you are about to get abundantly blessed 
And this is why everybody is chatting this shit. So you need to release and let go of these individuals because you know what? You can't be successful and tell jealous people about your success. That they're, they're gonna send their negative evil eye energy to fuck shit up or to make you feel bad about um, accomplishing something that you could have been working 10 years, 10 years at. Imagine that. Imagine working day and night doing something, right? Sweating your ass off, crying blood, sweat and tears whilst going through external factors and situations and um, somebody's coming to knock you down. Not even a congratulations or well done, they're coming to chat shit. Imagine how bitter that person must be. Imagine how that feels for you to think, well, like, this took me this, that and that to do and this person can't even... Fuck them. I just say fuck people, man. If they're not on the same wavelength or they're not on the same vibration as you, why are you listening to them? Why are you around them? Why? You need to ask yourself, why? Okay, let's get one more card. I just wanted to come out. It says the nurturer, resources, security, and sensuality. Yeah. Oh, and the I am sensual card came out as well. I forgot to show that to you guys. But yes, this is the time of nurturing, nurturing yourself. You've got that divine security, okay? Don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry. People, are, they're upset because you're sexy. If you want to feel sexy and you want to look good, you look good, okay? You look good and let people hate, <laughs> okay? That wanted to come out. It says patience, perseverance, cycles, and divine timing. Yeah, some of you have been doing things. You've been diligently working and working over a long period of time. Now is your time to shine. For others, if, you've, if you're still waiting, your lesson may be patience. You may be somebody that's used to receiving whatever you want there and then. The divine is telling you to call it. It's coming okay don't like everybody shines at different times everybody has a different timeline everybody has a different genetic and astrological makeup people are not re me like meant to receive things at the same time for a reason do you understand what i'm trying to say okay that is it and that is all thank you so much for tuning in guys i wish you an a abundant weekend and the rest of the signs will be coming very very soon I've got, um, I think it's Aquarius I'm doing next. So yes, if you haven't checked out the signs from Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius and Capricorn, I think I've done, check those readings out, generals. And as you know, after the generals, we'll be doing the love readings and then baby and BS and any channeled messages or whatever I get after that, okay? Toodles!